we're live. It's the Super Dungeon Brothers Super Show. I am DM Steve, and this is... I am DJ uh, Dungeon Dan. DJ Dan. DJ Dan. DJ Whack. And, uh... Yeah, it happens. Talk um, about <laughs> some shows for you. It's the Super Dungeon Brothers Super Show with Dungeon Dan and DM Steve. Get into things. How was how was your weekend? What'd you do, man? What's up? Actually, didn't I did? Uh, I wanted to do more than I actually did because. So you were a lazy bum. You didn't do shit. Well, it was so cold in the mornings. It's been like thirty degrees here every morning. So it's like thirty degrees. Yeah, in, it's been like 30 degrees in the morning here, so it's been really, really cold. So, mm. wanted to go hiking yesterday morning, that didn't happen. Uh, wanted to go fishing this morning, that didn't happen. Mm. I did get out to um, uh, a folk festival up in Springs, Pennsylvania uh, oh. on Saturday afternoon. Folk music? Uh, no, 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 more of a... Uh, folk like a art? Folk heritage. Ah, so, so like, who's who's heritage? Like uh, uh, like the Mennonite. It's like ah. like Mennonite heritage. So mm -hmm. like really really good uh, uh, fresh fried donuts like and good jams soup. and and it, it, I mean but not just the food. You know honey. there are arts and crafts and 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 older you know those older engines and things like that. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Um. But yesterday actually was the day. So, and we'll talk about this later. But spoiler alert: uh, yesterday was the day that I was actually able to finish my costume. So awesome. So nice. yes, we'll, but we'll but 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 we will talk about that a little bit later on. Yeah, yeah. Um, Stay tuned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And 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 today was today was lazy day today because federal holiday. I had it off. Uh, today's a lazy day. So, uh, what about your weekend? I saw that you went somewhere, actually. Yes. We went to Williamsburg, Virginia. We went to Birch... Bleh, Bur Birch... Bur 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 yep. You went to Brush Gardens? Were there lots of yeah. brushes there? <laughs> we went to Bush Gardens, Fright yeah. Night for Halloween. They have, you know, cool. the ghouls kind of hanging out yeah. around mm -hmm. in the park. Yeah. Um. And we went to a uh, Colonial Williamsburg ghost tour. Oh, very cool. And we went to the Ripley's Museum, mm -hmm. and we ate at one of our favorite restaurants, Maurizio's. Shout out to Maurizio's in Williamsburg, Virginia, because they don't sponsor <laughs> us or anything, but they're yeah. one of my favorite yeah. restaurants. And if you're mm -hmm. in the area, uh, check them out. They are amazing. Their bruschetta. Uh, is awesome. So, awesome. Yeah, we did that, and it was really fun. And if uh, if you caught any of the shorts on YouTube, uh, you saw a little bit of my weekend. Awesome. Awesome. So, yeah. Cool stuff. <clears throat> oh, and uh, by the way, uh, next weekend, um, or not, maybe not next weekend, but next weekend, I'm actually going to be in your neck of the woods. So... Next weekend's uh, Super Dungeon Brothers might look a little bit different. We'll see. Yeah, we'll have to see what what we can cook we'll up with it. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to check that out. Um, but yeah. you know, the reason I'm going to be up there is I'm flying out of your city, uh, because I'm going to Vegas for the week. To and Vegas. Yeah. Woo. So so in about two weeks, <laughs> look for some Vegas shorts because those are those are definitely going to be happening. Yes. <laughs> They're gonna be happening. They're gonna be happening, baby. Well, what is happening in Vegas? Why are you going? Oh, I'm going to Vegas because uh, I have tickets to see the B52s in concert. On uh, yeah, so I couldn't get the tickets for around here, so I said, why not? Let's go to why Vegas. Why not go to Vegas? Why not go you to know... Vegas and see them? Right? It's the I... and th this is the thing. If this is their this is what they are calling their farewell their farewell tour so mm -hmm. they're not they are apparently or supposedly not going to tour again after this since mm -hmm. i've never seen them might as well go and do it 
Yeah, yeah. And awesome. you know, and you know who's opening for them? You, you're gonna look. KC and the Sunshine Band are opening for the B-52s, which is That's... the most random thing ever. And they've been makes opening. Sense. They've been opening for them the entire tour. So I don't know. So I'm gonna get to see KC and the Sunshine Band too, which is. Hey, why not? Cool, I guess. You know? <laughs> why not? Not my not my thing, yeah. but you know, uh, I used to live not far from Kate McPherson of the Beatles. Oh yeah. So I don't know if she still lives there or not, but I, yeah. Oh yeah. Was that a Delaware thing? Uh, you, that like that Maryland, but near Delaware. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. That that northeastern. Gotcha. Corner of Maryland when mm -hmm. I lived up there. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I have no idea if she's still there or not, or what's what's up with that. That was a long All time right. ago. Yeah. All right. So uh, I guess we should get into it. Yeah. If so you what's... are looking at the screen, you can see that I already have it set up. Werewolf ah. by night. Werewolf by night. Yes. Yeah, so. What were your thoughts on? Because I know you watched it uh, today, actually, right? I did. I so did. it's fresh in your mind. Why don't you go ahead and go first? Then go tell what. What do you think about it? I have not seen. I had not seen any reviews or anything. I had not like mm -hmm. really looked at anything before I had watched it. Uh, I saw the trailer. I thought the trailer was really cool. Mm -hmm. Show was. I don't know. It there were cool things about it. I right. liked I liked the I liked the 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 look of it. Mm -hmm. Right. I like the the film work. I like yeah. the black and white. I kind of like the mm -hmm. it's almost like an old I, Universal movie. I, I agree with that. Yes. Um, and I like the way that they did the opening. I like the because uh, it actually looked like it had the uh, that that tagline that Universal mm -hmm. or you know, usually did and, and, and it, things it like that. It kind of did. The, the special almost looked like a special from, like, the late 70s or early 80s. Like that, that ABC, that, mm -hmm. remember it used to have kind of like a... Yeah. Mm -hmm. ABC yeah. special event, and then it had right. like a rainbow. I think that's what they were going mm -hmm. for with that. Kind of like Actually, it's a Halloween I, special. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I kind of think that... Uh, Disney used something very similar to that in the 70s as well when they did a mm. really really special thing because yeah, that maybe. was like all about all all that that's kind of how the 70s looked mm -hmm. yeah. sure sure mm -hmm. but I don't know the I was kind of disappointed with the story a little bit I think not man I was just disappointed with one character let me just put it that way Okay. And it, it, she almost ruined the experience for me because she's oh, really? like the main character, basically. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The Elsa character. Mm -hmm. Like so, what, why? What is? What it? Uh, why is Disney like obsessed with just plain Kathleen Kennedy looking bitches with <laughs> zero charisma, where you can like they're like. I mean, they're trying to go for this old Hollywood, old mm -hmm. movie. You right. can't get a like a glamorous girl to play this character. Well, and un uh, or like a charismatic person in any yeah. way. I mean, mm -hmm. we get we get uh budget Anne Hathaway like run down Anne Hathaway with the British accent like. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. So, I, yeah. you know, she's she looks perfectly fine. And I've actually seen pictures of this actress. I can't remember her mm -hmm. name. But I looked at, you know, when I was doing looking for the right. show. And uh, let's see. Here we go. Is it? Oh, no. That's not the right one. This is the one. This is the actress right here. If you are looking at the stream, you can see. And listen, she's fine, right? She is. Right. But that's the character. Yeah. So I looked at it from a different point of view, I think a little bit. The story, mm -hmm. I thought the story was serviceable and it was fine. 
Um, I I thought that it has been it's it was written better than most of the Marvel TV shows that Recently. we've gotten. Yes, so we, true. So it's it's been ri- it was written better, which means that it and I I felt that it was actually, uh, I thought this was the best Marvel TV show we've gotten in a while. Okay, that it's 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 better. Dude, it's that's better not than, saying a lot. Oh, I know it's not saying a lot, but I mean it's better. It's it it was better than it's it's better. It it was better than God just about anything else that Disney's, Disney's put out there recently. I just want to be able to connect with the, like the werewolf. Mm-hmm. Great. Like where, where, yeah. uh, ja- great, great. Yeah. Awesome. Man and, thing. Totally. The, Ted. Gro- perfect. Yeah. Ted. Ted man thing. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Uh, connected yes. with man thing. This mm-hmm. monster. Yeah. Inhuman mm-hmm. monster connected with him. I just like, well, you know, like, she came in. She was just like, Meh. well, that's just, the thing. It's like she was the only character that didn't have a personality. Like she had the personality of like strong female character. Well, yeah, which it's, which is which basically means... like woman that acts like a man and is kind of a bitch. Yeah. And it is just mm-hmm. like the character that they insert in everything. Right. Again. You couldn't have given us some version of this, like a feminine, like every version of this character that I could find mm-hmm. has either red or blonde hair and right. is a, like made attractive looking, has a mm-hmm. figure and, and, you right. know, like you couldn't have, like, she could still be badass. Like this is yeah. badass, right? Like, is this not badass? Absolutely. No, it is very much And this so, is yes. like, I'm pretty sure because it looks like, oh, it's down here. It looks like this is a, right? If you see, it looks like it's a twenty twenty one image. So this is, it's not like this is not a, yeah. like a, a cur- the current version yeah. of this character, right? Right, right. And I no, and I get it. I like understand why that she's, you know, super red and what, like you could tone that down for the, right, for right. the genre mm-hmm. or whatever, but like, you can't give us th- this pretty, like with the nice mm-hmm. hair. I know people are going to be like, <laughs> you, you're Steve's misogynistic. A misogynist. <laughs> yeah. You Fuck boys off, a man. misogynist. Yeah. Women like that too. Yes, like, they do. Women like to look at other attractive women. I'm sorry. Like they, they do. just do. Like Absolutely. people just want attractive characters and also they want characters that they can like feel, right? They 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 want to be able to connect to a character. Mm-hmm. And and that that character you you couldn't connect to that character. Like I felt like the werewolf guy there was mm-hmm. a definite backstory there. Mm-hmm. I felt the backstory for Elsa was it was it was i i hate forced. my family and mm-hmm. i just like want to come back and yeah. it was like i don't know it's like it almost she didn't even barely have empathy for the the monster no. like it's she <laughs> just wanted the stone to like get back at her family like she didn't mm-hmm. even care about anything and but it's like but I'll tell you what though let's talk about some of the good some some of the good in that okay so, all right so all right. one Oh, let me let me let me get back the, to here so that we don't have yeah. to look at that. No <laughs> or actually the, here. here. Let's wait. No, that's let's let's this look one. at the there. That. Let's look at um. Hello. Let Let's think about evil uh. Stepmother-in-law, who I thought killed. Good. It. I yeah. thought she that woman that whoever mm-hmm. that actress is she killed that role. That for sure. She was she mm-hmm. was great. I she I was great. I totally bought I totally bought into her. Uh, it mm-hmm. was it was awesome. Even the 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 old ass butler had uh, he's a character I want to get to know. That char- that that old ass butler is a character I want to get to know. And even the other guy, the people that were killed, well, not so much like the the um, Asian guy was like the Asian guy like n- just the, there to no die. Lines. Yeah, he was the there Asian to guy die. Was there to, the 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 African American guy was there to, to there to die. Like the three three of them were there to die. Mm-hmm. The, the older guy, 
who actually got more of the lines. He he, I I I I was I was feeling that guy. I was like, all right, this is a good, this is good casting. I I like this guy, you know. Um, but the 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 person who played the werewolf, I think he was awesome. He actually carried oh. the show. Oh, he, he was. Oh yeah, he was terrific. Yeah, he, yeah, carried, he was the best thing about it. He carried the show. And he should have carried the show, actually, because it is Werewolf by Night. And I do think that he's the one who should have carried it. And Elsa mm-hmm. should have been a secondary character, in my opinion. And here's the thing. I like, again, no, I feel like this actress, I think she, it's, I, I feel it's not her fault. She's not unattractive. No. Like, no. she's not, she, but they just like, like, they didn't, like, they missed an opportunity. Like mm-hmm. they really could like this. She she probably could have killed it, honestly. Yeah. I, I, yeah. But but I just think it was writing and directing, and it was oh, just, of course, just just stupid. That's generally how it is: is writing and directing. But you know what I was thinking as she was mm. like killing all those people. What's that? From an okay, you're gonna like this, Dan. From okay. an SJW lens, mm-hmm. the turf comes back in, the trans-exclusionary radical feminist comes back in uh, and kills the people of color and the trans person, slaughters them Mm -hmm. um, in because she has uh, internalized the patriarchy, so uh, she needs to get the the straight males. uh, She aligns with them and lets them escape and, like, let's, you know, while while killing killing all of the the minorities. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. I mean, it's all there, Mm -hmm. man. Yeah. Twitter is going to have a field day with you, buddy. Come on. Come on. <laughs> it's it's all that I'm giving it. it I'm giving it, it. I'm giving it to you guys. Mm-hmm. Run with it. If you want to, yeah, you know, if you want to cancel the show, mm-hmm. this is that's your this narrative. Is it. Right. Okay. You're welcome. So, You're welcome. Mm-hmm. I have no love for Disney. I don't care. Cancel. Yeah. It. Yeah. Let's go for it. So. But um unfortunately, I think that's about all we have to say about this unless you have something else but this is really all i've got all i have to say about this show yeah is, yeah is um that i mean uh well, the one thing i do have to say is uh if anybody from disney is listening recast elsa or make or just into, restyle make, her like re- just yeah, you don't do even. Something. I don't honestly. I'm not even sure you have to recast this woman. Maybe, I think you just re-booter? need to yeah. restyle her and and yeah. just just don't make her look like miserable and don't make her mm-hmm. act so miserable. Give her some person unless she's like unless that's what you're going for. Which I, yeah, like why why but why? I mean if you want audiences to connect mm-hmm. with this character, restyle yeah. the character, rework the character because... and. If Honestly, you're if they're gonna go forward with her at all, yeah. I don't. But I, yeah. it seems like that maybe that those three characters are probably gonna show up in other MCU Something. stuff later. Yeah. But but so, seriously though, if you want, um, if you want us to watch something, I will watch the werewolf guy and man thing, because those guys were great. If you can retool Elsa, and and make that. You know your ensemble, the, those three characters with a better Elsa. Hey, I will Maybe. give that. The, I'll give that the chance. I will absolutely give it a chance. Yeah. yeah. But uh, but yeah. So just as uh, just as Werewolf by Night uh, faded away, just like um, the Wizard of Oz and turned from black and white into color, I think we're gonna go to our next uh, our next outing. So what what do we have up next? Uh, sure. So up next, we recently both watched the monsters, and now because of this image, I'm uh, yes, I'm you've, I'm you've a little just, blue. You're, you're a little pe- well. That, hey, that fits with. I've become. Uh, that's that's you 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 become grandpa. Oh, don't become grandpa. <laughs> don't. Oh my dude. Oh, don't don't become grandpa. All right. So actually, don't actually. Don't become any of the characters in this movie at all. All right. So what did what did you think then? Like, let's go. What what did I think? I think that this movie was an hour and forty minutes long, 
and I think that I actually want two full hours of my life back. That's what I thought of this movie. I didn't laugh once. I didn't think it was funny. I I thought it was... Uh, it was terrible. And this uh, is coming from a person... This is coming from a guy who likes the old monsters. I like that show. And I was very willing to give this show a chance. And... Oh... I, I literally sat there and watched this movie <laughs> and did not laugh one time. I, I felt, I, I didn't, you know, you know, I thought this movie was so bad that I didn't even realize that, uh, the, what, what the, the one guy was Dr. Who in the movie. The, um, I, 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 yeah, one of the, the, one of, one of the guy, it was, um, the, the scientist that creates Herman. And by the way, we're, if you haven't watched this movie, there are spoilers upcoming, but the scientist who creates Herman, I think is who one of the older Dr. Who's. I'm um, definitely going to have to look into hold, that now. Hold on. I, I hold did on. not. Hold on, okay. I will tell you who it is. The Doctor Who's. There's not many. Those guys are old. Who could it be? No. Yes, because I remember I I remember seeing the name and I'm like, okay, so yeah, it's uh, Sylvester McCoy. Okay, so it's the so, the final. It's that's yeah. gonna be the eighth Doctor, mm -hmm. I think. That's the final oh, Doctor okay, so, of the. Oh, no. okay, so okay, so Sylvester. Okay, so that's who it was. I thought it was the Doctor. Sylvester McCoy was Igor. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah. So Sylvester okay. McCoy was Sylvester McCoy was Igor. Um. And, All right, that's cool. Okay, that's so fun. yeah, looking at that, yes, that makes that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, yeah, that's that um, that definitely makes more sense. Mm -hmm. So here's what I'm gonna say. Okay. I love this movie. <sighs> Why? I don't, Why? It was fun. It was fun. I no, it I liked it. Oh, it was. I laughed. I fucking laughed at this thing. I thought Herman, dude, that guy killed it. That no. guy was so good. Yes, okay. he was. So, so let me tell you. Let me tell you what I think about Herman. About this, the guy who played Herman. I actually think that the guy who played Herman is a good actor. Okay. I. I just didn't like him in this role. I did. I thought. I didn't I like him in this great. role. I thought it was great. I mean, it's I, not your. He's no Fred Gwynn, like right. No, he's I mean, definitely not, not Fred Gwynn, and I wasn't trying. I, I liked it. I I tried going into it knowing that he wasn't going to be Fred Gwynn, and I, you know what I think it was. I just didn't. I I. I just didn't like the whole um. Rock star Hollywood centric. I, I, that, that to me, that, that completely fell flat. I didn't like any of that. I, you didn't I just, like, you didn't like the band. I liked it. No, I liked I it. Didn't, I thought I didn't it was like a good it. addition. And, and here's the thing. And, and you know what the other, pro the other big problem with me was, mm -hmm. was as hot as Rob Zombie's wife is, mm -hmm. she is a terrible fucking actress. I and 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 she she is a terrible actress and she tr she bless tried her, man bless She's... her heart she really tried to nail Lily and there were times where I think that she actually did nail her every now and again but most of it again for me I was just like it it to me felt like she was doing um she was trying to do a Lily impression 
and she was she was trying too hard to do the Lily impression. I don't where, agree where, with that. I don't actually yeah. think she was trying to do a Lily impression because mm-hmm. the because Yvonne De Carlo is kind of a very mature person mm-hmm. in the in the original monsters, and I don't think that she was doing that. She actually, I don't know, she was really just channeling like '60s television. Something. Young television yeah. ditzy actressy. Maybe so. That that but. was kind of what it was. I feel like, I mean, this is like ten years prior mm-hmm. to the because it, it's got to be because like Eddie, even if yeah. even if Eddie is is uh, again spoilers, even if Eddie is born like a imme- like you know conceived yeah. right then right. and whatever, mm-hmm. it's like ten years before because he's what, yeah. about ten years old, eight or nine. Yeah, about at least. that. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. So, it's 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 a prequel, you know. It's it's early days. It yeah, I, it is. The one thing that that actually did kind of like it it it's hard was Grandpa because yeah. Al Lewis as the original Grandpa is oh, like super iconic, iconic. Mm-hmm. and. Oh, yeah. rep- Replacing him or trying to get somebody to act like him, that's almost like replacing like Leonard Nimoy. Like mm-hmm. it's so hard. You're never gonna get somebody who's just like that. Oh, I know. Yes. And he was the grandpa character beyond the monsters. Like mm-hmm. he was on TV and stuff in that character. Yes. Like I think he was mm-hmm. even on. Wasn't he on like late night USA Network or something? Didn't he host like he, a late he night did for that. a while? Or he did that, and I think actually he even did like Hollywood Squares as as Grandpa. grandpa. Mm-hmm. As Grandpa. I, I don't mean, think they basically... ever said monster, but like he just yeah. you, it was just he um, was... the grandpa, you know, because grandpa's not the... copyrighted. Mm-hmm. He was the basically he he embraced that character for the rest of his life, and basically that's what he was. Mm-hmm. And yeah, yeah, and, and and everybody knew knew him as that. And, and so as far as like that, that was difficult because with not well, just. I don't... I don't when, think this guy tried to. He didn't. I'm not saying that, mm-hmm. but what I'm saying is that like th- missing that is because I feel like it, as part mm-hmm. of the original ingredients that he, yeah, Al Lewis is the, as Grandpa is a very big part of the the mix of the original. Mm-hmm. I think this di- guy did well for what he he was, and again, it's early days. He didn't kind of have the same, you know. He was against the you know herman at the beginning right right right? so it's like that's a little Mm -hmm. bit of a different dynamic and you Mm -hmm. know you kind of see like he'll he'll kind of change into the Mm -hmm. the grandpa of the future but again it's difficult because you want it to be well they didn't even call him grandpa because there's nobody to call him grandpa yet exactly because because, uh, you know he was i didn't they what they called him papa or something like that or what i I don't I don't even remember because like I said I want the full 2 hours back mm-hmm. and just Yeah, I think she called him father, you know, like my maybe. father. I think they called him the count or the count. Know, maybe, yeah, they definitely yeah, called him the count. Yeah. yeah. I, so. I just I, and you know, you and then you have the extraneous uh brother werewolf oh, brother. Oh, yeah, yeah. Who, Eddie. I don't remember that er, that werewolf brother being See, in the I, series at all and that it, was it was in for eddie it, it i feel like that character was kind of like kind of like okay we got this like werewolf brother and mm-hmm. he's gonna like die or disappear or something and then his yeah. namesake is gonna be eddie or whatever i but, didn't i honestly didn't Steve think too hard about it yeah. because i like i like i just wanted to watch a fun movie and i thought it yeah. was fun but the thing is the way it ended was so freaking stupid so, I mean, mean, the ending was the dumbest fucking ending ever. What? Because, what do you mean? like, okay, if this is supposed to be a prequel, then uh-huh. they end the movie on Werewolf Brother, like, winning it all in Vegas and giving Herman his check and Herman going, I'm rich, I'm rich. So they're basically saying at the end of this that they're completely rich when. 
if you go backwards, if this is a prequel to the to the monsters, when the monsters started, they're nowhere near fucking rich. They are, you know, Mo- Herman is still going to work, doing where working wherever he works and all that stupid crap. And and you think that Herman. <laughs> as portrayed either in this movie or in the original series, ha- has any, like, is going to be able to manage that tons of money in well, any no. way, shape, the, or form? The thing is, he, he can't, but they effed that one up, too, because they said, like, af- after Herman gives away the the mansion... And when he goes to when 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 they're on their way to Hollywood, he even says, "I'm not gonna something to the effect that I'm not going to manage the money anymore. I'm going to let Lily do it." He even says that, you know. I'm sorry, the movie I, I was think, a waste I think, of time. I think you're thinking too much about this. I uh, think it was it was it, no. it's a goofy movie based on. It, no. If here here's my thing. If I if it had been um what was that show? Did they tried to do was it called Mockingbird Lane or something? They tried to do like a a serious dark monsters like a few years maybe not even they a few did? years back. Maybe like a, about 10 years ago. Yeah, I, I think it was even, I don't even remember that. I yeah. Think it was called Mockingbird Lane and it actually had like people in it like Mm-hmm. stars i mean it was okay. like I think, who was in that i don't remember you you can look it up and yeah whoever is if anybody's watching you guys can look yeah. it up mockingbird lane i think it had eddie izzard in it but it had other people in it too okay okay and it was supposed to be this like dark serious take and i think it, they did a pilot and they aired the pilot and that was it because it didn't get picked up and i think that's, well, that's probably why you never that... saw it that's not going to work either. A dark, serious take on the monsters is not going to work either. Exactly. And the, he, my thing is that, like, uh, okay, like that. That I feel like you could analyze it if they want it, If they were trying to do mm-hmm. a serious thing in that way, I can't. I just can't analyze this in that way. I I can't look I, at this this yeah. type of media at the same way that I looked at even Werewolf by Night or mm-hmm. Andor or anything yeah. else that yeah. we ever talk about because this is just silly Halloween fun based on like a really dumb 60s show that I liked when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. And I've liked other versions of the monster like there was like yeah. a fuck was it called monsters today or something in the early 90s that i think i watched and like there are a couple of movies i've always kind of liked just the Mm -hmm. goofy and and that's what i like about it i like that it's like super cartoonish like for me none of that shit has to make sense all of your problems with it like none of it it's a cartoon for me and none of that makes sense like you're thinking way too hard about any of it i I liked it. But but that that's I mean yes to now I am but in the moment mm-hmm. it didn't make me laugh. So you just said yeah you just weren't feeling it. So All I right. was I mean that's the thing it's like I, I wasn't it. thinking too hard about it during the during the thing. It just it it yeah. didn't make me laugh so it, to me it wasn't I funny. I, yeah. I I get it. I don't think you like this kind of comedy though. Cuz you I I feel like you don't like like kind of slap. You never really have been like a Jim Carrey type of a no, you know fan no. of that type of a no. but, uh, but I am. Like no. I like See, I like old... slapstick and even old slapstick. You know, I'm a huge mm-hmm. fan of like the Three Stooges and like Laurel and Hardy yeah. and like just go- it's just so yeah. they're just fucking dumb but See, funny. I like that. The... The only thing that the only thing like that that I actually really liked was Super Troopers. I I like. I don't. Super I wouldn't Troopers. even consider that the same type of humor at all. Really? No. 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 no not really. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, that's like this... stoner humor. I like yeah. that too. Obviously. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So I guess we agree to disagree. For me, this fell flat. Uh, for for uh, Steve though, he liked it. It was good. Hey. And yeah. I, I know a lot of people, I because I've seen online. I know people hate this shit. I know people hate it, but <laughs> I I won't go so I far as to say I hate it. But I I really do want my yeah. two hours yeah. back. Yeah, people are mad. Thanks. People are yeah. definitely mad about it. But yeah, I'm not mad. I liked it. I thought it was mm-hmm. good. So two thumbs up yeah. for me. I'll definitely 
watch the, you know, if I see the the guy who plays Herman, if he's in mm-hmm. something else, you know, I'll definitely give him another shot because I actually thought he was a, I thought he was a good actor because he wasn't trying to be Fred Gwynn. Mm-hmm. And I thought he was a good actor. I'll give him, I'll give him a shot. You know, I, I don't think she's a great actress. Yeah. Just, well, these are all, I, these are Rob Zombie's people though. Like I feel yeah. like they filmed this shit in his backyard. It's... Well, they probably did film this shit in his backyard, yeah. <laughs> Which is fine. Like that's Whatever. that's uh, you know yeah. that's it's, it's it kind of happens. Yeah, you know, like Whatever. I know people were bitching about like the titles and stuff because they like look like you know really old and cheap and like whatever. Yes. Yeah. Well, that I get it. that I mean that that kind of fits. You know, that's the way that that's supposed to be. But yeah. But I think. Um, I think that's it on uh on the monsters as well. So I think so yeah. too. Yeah. Right. So just like uh just like Herman, we smash through the wall. Yes. And uh Steve follows me through the wall with complete and utter silence. <laughs> it's a me, Mario. Oh hey, yeah. Or it's a you, Mario. Ah, it's a Mario, and and it happened. The trailer dropped. It did. The trailer, the trailer dropped this weekend, and yeah. So I'm gonna ask you what you thought about it because you're again we we kind of know that mm-hmm. you really don't. Your Mario experience kind of ends at Donkey Kong. Yes, it does. Right? It does end at Donkey Kong. So what I will say about this trailer is I thought it looked freaking amazing. I am actually kind of excited to see this movie in the theaters because I think this trailer was amazing. I like Jack Black as Bowser. I was really, like, I thought that was nailed. Um... Now, I will tell you that I had to look some of this stuff up so that I knew what I was referencing. Mm-hmm. But like the the the, the Koopa Kingdom, am, am I saying that right? Is it Koopa or Krupa? Well, the, the Koopa is the the, Koop. the Koopa is is also Bowser. That's the his oh. name. Oh, what's the what's the, but king, the, the little, mushroom, mushroom Kingdom? Is the Mushroom the, Kingdom. Is well, what's the, those little what's those little guys that they were fighting? That that the that Bowser was Maybe fighting. Co- Wait, that Bowser was fighting. Yeah, the are you Bowser? They at the, at the very beginning of the trailer, like like Bowser steps up. I need to rewatch the trailer now, Jesus. And 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 these little guys were like were like were throwing they... throwing stuff at him and 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 like. Oh God! Now I'm I can't remember. Were they the toads? Were they little mushroom maybe, guys? Maybe they were little. I don't know. Maybe they were little mushroom guys. I don't remember. God no! But, oh, like we need to re- watch the trailer. But I think uh, mm-hmm. I don't think they would let us watch the trailer on here. I think we would get yeah. in trouble if we watched the trailer. But on here, so. but anyway, um, I but thought you, all that you was liked great. It? You thought it was cool. I I thought it was great until 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 Mario opened his mouth and Chris Pratt's voice came out. Like just normal Chris I Pratt's mean, voice, like not normal even normal Chris Pratt's voice. So, so here's what I regular think. dude, bro. Like here, here is what I think. Hang on, me Mario. <laughs> yeah, here's what I think is going to happen. Okay, what I think is going to happen is that this is what they've done to kind of gauge. I actually think that they've recorded something different. Okay. And I think that they put this out to gauge, hey, can we get away with just Chris Pratt's voice? Or do we have to do Chris Pratt doing something else? Now, I will tell you that I, I talked to my roommate about this. Okay. And um, now, for me, Mario would have an Italian accent. But for my roommate, and this actually makes a little more sense, uh, Mario should actually have kind of a Brooklyn accent and and be like, hey, 
You know, I'm from Brooklyn. You know what I'm talking about. You know, my name is Mario, and I'm mm-hmm. I'm a plumber from Brooklyn. And here we go, and we're gonna do this and that. And I think if he if Pratt tries to do that, we're gonna be in better shape. But mm-hmm. just just having Star Lord's just having Star Lord um, Star Lord's voice coming out of Mario, or 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 having Mario sound like what's his name, like Andy from Parks and Rec, is not gonna work at all. Here's the thing: the mm-hmm. standard Mario, the the current Mario, right? Which, which by the way looks like that. That's what Mario pretty much looks like in the games now, right? Mm-hmm. Standard Mario, right? Right has like an Italian voice, and he mm-hmm. has that like stereotypical like it goes up. He goes, "It's yeah. me, Mario," and he's right, got he right. like rolls his R's, and he like right. Yeah, it, mm-hmm. There's a specific voice actor that is like the vo- I can't remember the dude's name, but he's like the right. voice actor of like mm-hmm. you know Mario in the games or whatever. And I think some people are kind of pissed that they're not going to use that guy. Now I understand what you're talking about because I feel like for me. The the Italian Mario voice is actually like a, a super recent thing. I mean, mm-hmm. it's been it's been a, a established for almost decades now, probably right, like probably right. like at least two mm-hmm. decades. But Mario never had an Italian voice because he wasn't actually Italian, like you said. He right, was he's... from Brooklyn. Right, like what your roommate said, and. It's kind of like, uh, you know, our show's namesake, the the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, <laughs> yeah, is right. was uh, what Captain Lou Albano was Captain Lou Albano, who is very much has a Brooklyn accent, and he, you know, Mario <laughs> sounded like this, you know, yeah, and pretty Luigi much. sounded like this, hey Mario, you know, mm-hmm. hey, yeah. yeah. Luigi, you know that. Yeah, that's... yeah, those things. Yes. So they had like a, they sounded like New Yorkers. They sounded like New mm-hmm. York Italians, not like real, right. you know, like not like fresh off yeah. the boat Italians, but right, maybe right. my parents were fresh off the boat Italians mm-hmm. or something. My grandparents yeah. or something like like right. us, right? <laughs> not not like yeah, <laughs> not, right? Yeah, like, not we, like yeah, not like, like you're the the second or third generation is not going to sound like it's me, but. <laughs> That's what like most people are gonna expect right. is mm-hmm. the the mm-hmm. Italian because that's yes. what it's kind of been established at all of the modern Mario games. Mario, right, doesn't have a lot of dialogue, but when he does talk, it's it's always yeah. you know mm-hmm. Mario. Well, so yeah, I, I don't know. Um, what do you what do you think about the trailer? What did you if you can even remember now since you yeah, don't even I, remember I, what was what was your thought? Can you remember what you thought about it? Yeah, no, I mean, I think I. Hmm, there's something weird about the animation to me. Okay. I don't know well, it's what got, it it's, is. It's, it's got it's, that Pixarish animation, it's, and it's like a little too Pixarish. Mm-hmm. Like Mario looks weird. Like look at his eyes. Like mm-hmm. so Mario, it's it's the same, but. There's almost like an a, like a an uncanny even though like the you know like mm-hmm. you're I'm so maybe I'm so used to seeing like the modern Mario that this right. it's weird I don't know that I totally like it it's not as bad as the the nightmarish Sonic do you remember do you, do you oh. remember the controversy with the Sonic trailer the original Sonic trailer oh I where remember he had, like yes. teeth and it was like just horrendous <laughs> yeah yeah it's not like that it's subtle but it's weird there was also a shot of the princess where like it's, it's something there's something with the eyes where it's like there was I didn't see mm. the princess yeah there there is like a quick shot of the isn't there okay. a shot of the prince? No, I don't think it's super a... quick. No. no, no, I've seen it. Maybe, maybe I saw a, a, maybe, maybe somebody saw... captured a still and it's so maybe you but captured it's really a still quick. There, I didn't. I don't remember seeing that. Um, yeah, it's I, definitely in the I trailer because will... it's out. It's on the internet. But I, the okay. princess, her face look. looks weird too. It's everybody looks too Pixarish. Now I like the cast. The mm-hmm. cast is a, a, an incredible cast. If if that was a oh, live yeah. action cast. 
like Anya Taylor Joy, Joy oh, awesome. An- mm-hmm. Charlie Day, fucking hilarious. <laughs> I, like I'm. I, well, I don't know. Let me ask you this because this has been this was going around the internet for for a little while around the YouTubes for a little while. Uh, because they've cast Anya Taylor Joy, and they've cast Jack Black, um, in those two roles. Do you think that there's going to be uh, a musical interlude between the two of them singing? Because it seems like that, and and this is the thing. Uh, I think I think this was Chado who was say, who was talking about this. It was Paul Chado who says that um, he thinks that the whole thing is going to be a musical because because there there's you know be, because. They've got a lot of people who can sing with this because I think um, what's his name from Portlandia is actually cast in the is cast in here as well. Um, Fred, Fred, Fred Armisen is actually he Fred Armisen is like the old Kong. And Charlie Day can definitely sing also. Yeah. Like all mm-hmm. of them. Oh man, that's yeah. oh, so the, that's so this, weird. So this could be actually like a, a bit of a musical or have some musical numbers because there's definitely definitely a lot of the cast can sing. Um also uh I think also that what we saw in the trailer with him entering the Mushroom Kingdom is not the very beginning of the movie. I think... Yeah, probably not. Because they're starting out... Because, because they have Donkey Kong in the movie, I think they're actually going to try to do it linear and actually have him fight Donkey Kong in the movie. So I think it actually is going to start in Brooklyn mm-hmm. with him not being a plumber, but him being like a construction worker a con- or whatever, a construction how, worker. That, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. How he was a construction worker to begin with, and actually fighting Kong in the you know the way that he did, you know. So you know, yeah. I I think there's going to be some some interesting aspects to this. You know, it's gonna it's definitely going to be definitely going to be interesting. I am not. Yeah, I'm not. Oh sold. my God! What if they? What if I'm they not, do it? What if they do the beginning of the movie where he fights Donkey Kong? What if that's all live action? And I when, when and, as you and when talked he goes, about that, and when he goes into the Mushroom Kingdom, he he becomes. Yes. What if now if they do that? That would I, I think I would actually be on board with that. I I think I'd be I'd be I'd be. It's very interesting. I don't know. Very interesting. I have a bad feeling about this. I'm not sure how it's going to go, but yeah. I just I think the trailer looks a little weird to me. They've got they've mm-hmm. got time. They can adjust things. They, I feel they like do they have could, time. I feel like they could adjust some mm-hmm. things, but this initial trailer did not have me like super jazzed. I was just kind of like, ah, it looks like a Pixar mm-hmm. movie and I don't well, know that I again, care that much, but you know they've got what about seven to eight months or so they can tweak things, and I think that's what one of the, I think they're following that um, that Sonic thing is you know they put that Let's teaser hope. they put that teaser out for Sonic to see the reaction <laughs> they found out what the reaction was it was and, so bad dude and I had think they put out that movie it would have just been like. <sighs> It almost been legendarily bad like i can't <laughs> it I, I just there's some timeline that has that <laughs> sonic movie and oh it yeah just, the whole well, that, world is just that, just that, worse that, off for it <laughs> that sonic was a five nights at freddy sonic so that's what um, that sonic yeah was. yeah it was it was really weird oh, but i i think maybe that's what they've done is they put this out <laughs> to gauge a reaction to gauge a reaction and and so they can start to tweak yeah. And so that when they actually come out with the full length trailer, you know, two to three months before the movie is actually supposed to come out, then the, the, then it's going to be like, oh, OK, because this really was like 30 second, 30, 45 seconds. It was or pretty short. Yeah. yeah. Of there just was like, a lot of. Yeah. Th- this was just like, here's what here's a little teaser. And like I said, uh, Jack Black with Bowser. All on board. I I really like that. Um, 
I'm okay with the visuals, but as I'm looking at Mario, who you've got on this, uh, the Mario from the movie, who you've got on the screen right now, his eyes do have that, because Pixar, Pixar's eyes, they look dead. And this guy, this Mario kind of got that. And I, I don't know if that you, I think you've picked him. At well, the he's point he's focusing he's just, on something where he's, in this He's just image. landed, and I think mm-hmm. his eyes might have been rolling a little bit because it looks like he just landed, and it it doesn't look quite quite it's weird there. Yeah, it's weird. I mean, again, it's oh, the same. Let me ask different. you this because this is the other thing that's been going around. This is uh, and and I so apparently there are several people several people out there who are really really pissed that they took away Mario's booty. Oh, I I saw a thing about him having a flat <laughs> butt, I think maybe. They they yeah. they were real people yeah. are really upset that Mario doesn't have any junk in the trunk. Yeah, it's a big it's a big thing. I got a Google mm-hmm. alert about it. Yeah. Mario's oh, you got a flat oh, yeah. butt. Yeah, I'm pretty oh, sure. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so, so, so so I don't so, know. So when you start do, covering this type of shit, you get kind of dumbass <laughs> crap coming to your phone i swear to god so yeah well i mean it is what it is yeah yeah um but no uh yeah i, I guess we'll see i think it's uh you know they have time mm-hmm. they, they do they have do. a good cast they do. We'll, we'll see we'll see what happens um, i'll tell you what we don't have time judgment. for though yeah i tell you what there isn't t- there isn't a lot of time for though there isn't a lot of time until Steve and I actually get into costume and play Super Mario Brothers. Oh, yes. That's actually going to happen. So The original Super Mario Brothers for the NES. The original Super Mario Brothers, uh, like I said at the beginning, uh, I have my costume and everything all ready to go. So, and your costume is for my costume is for uh we're gonna have a stream where I am going to play Super Mario Brothers because I have never played Super Mario Brothers before. Ever and ever. The the only thing I've ever played is Donkey Kong. And I played a little bit of uh Mario Kart. But I've never played Super Mario Brothers for N sixty four. And no, for the NES or NES or any of them, actually, I've never played any of that shit. <laughs> he I, doesn't even know what the fuck he's I talking don't, about. I don't even know what I'm. I don't even know what I'm playing. So, but I'm. But yeah, that's happening. But the event is basically our Halloween stream. It's going to be mm-hmm. Halloween weekend. It's probably either yeah. going to be Saturday or Sunday night, Halloween mm-hmm. weekend. Like I said, I have my costume all down. What about you? No. I do not. It's coming. Yeah, I'll mm-hmm. have a costume. Don't yeah, you worry. Mm-hmm. Don't you worry. But he's uh, gonna, he's gonna pencil on a mustache, and that'll be it. He'll just he'll just pencil use on a mustache. I just grow it. I will just grow a real mustache if I want to grow a mustache. I have never seen you grow anything longer than what you've got right there. That's not. That's not true. <laughs> that's, that's not true at all. <laughs> he just doesn't pay any attention. Hey, anyway, the... yeah. we are the Super Dungeon Brothers. This has been yeah. the Super Dungeon Brothers Super Show. It has been. I'm Dungeon Dan. Are you sure? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> and I am DM Steve. And we will see you tomorrow. Next. Yeah. Later, guys. Out. Hey there. This is Garrett from Dicks in the Dark. Check out our live stream every Tuesday. At 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Don't worry about missing a stream. The VODs are uploaded to the YouTube channel the following day. Check out the links in the description below. Go.